Hi, welcome to Steve Chats Wrestling, hashtag SCW, right here on YouTube.com. Thank you for choosing the channel and choosing the video. You can subscribe right now. Leave any comments in the comment section. Like and share the videos as well, please. Now, this is a Raw Revisited, a review, a reaction to Monday Night Raw, and what a Raw it was. Top that SmackDown. A fantastic way to start off the new era. We had everything that you could need to be involved with. Two Fatal 4-Way matches to uh, determine a main event, to then determine a number one contender to face Seth Rollins who will be ultimately both battling for the first ever WWE Universal Championship so there we go we had that decided of course Finn Balor winning that tournament shocking by beating Roman Reigns in that final main event match so it'll be Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins at SummerSlam a match I am buzzing to see I'm also intrigued to see where Roman Reigns is going to go from here who will he face at SummerSlam it's going to be very interesting indeed. it seems like they're going to go down that redemption storyline road um, it's going to be very interested to see how it plays out. Personally, for me, I'd like to see him as a heel, uh, but of course, we can't always get what we want. But it's going to be very interesting to see how the character moves forward. I think we definitely need some character development in some of the things next week because we had a lot of action on this week's Raw, and I really enjoyed all the action. But we do need some storytelling more to go with it. But we got everything we needed here, and everything was placed in the right areas. We got a women's championship match where Sasha Banks wins the women's title over Charlotte. An exciting match, and uh, looking forward to the rematch at SummerSlam. It does make you wonder what WWE's plans are going forward it seems that maybe this has been pushed a little bit ahead maybe Nia Jax is going to make an impact going forward we'll have to wait and see how her role is going to be she'll win, want a squash match on Raw it's nice to see some of the squash matches come back as well see Braun Strowman get one of those as well very intriguing to see where his character is going to be going forward from here as well uh, we see the new date and the club seems that's going to be set for SummerSlam also so we've got a clear indication where we are going forward and of course we see some great action as like I said the two Fatal 4-Way matches were superb we know the Cruiserweight Championship is coming a new Universal Championship coming to Raw um, a new layout for Raw as well I like the new video package at the start of Raw very interesting that Sasha Banks was the closing point as well, real emphasis on women's wrestling and clearly a sign of the women's champion as well from the very off there, um, I like the way the new staging is done, the announce table being towards further away from the ring, very different, very unique, um, almost to the old school style really, uh, like back in the early 90s, it was very exciting to see and uh, I like to see how it's going to be going forward as well, Smackdown top that I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to seeing Smackdown can do uh, just as well this evening be very interesting but for all for me awesome uh, I still think the three hours is a little bit too long I personally think it'd be better as two hour show but um, I'm sure you'll let me know your feelings in the comment section it was amazing this week but will it keep that will it keep that momentum going as the weeks go forward let me know in the comment section like and share the videos please subscribe and we'll be watching Steve Chats Wrestling the Smackdown preview is on its way you've been watching right here on youtube.com